transfer deadline day and I've got a little bit of money left over. Let's see who we can get. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Mighty Magpies and you join us in, well, in different form. After a great 4-0 victory over Tottenham, we drew 1-1 against Man City. We then drew 1-1 against Lincoln, but luckily we won on penalties. And then we got absolutely destroyed by Leeds, 5-2. Now before we go any further, check out this hat-trick that Klitsch has scored. It is ridiculous. So this is Klitsch's first goal. Ireland runs down the wing. He's going to play it back to Klitsch here. One touch, top corner, smashes it in. Incredible goal, but it just gets better. His second goal, very similar positions as Leeds play the ball back. Ireland drops it back, Klitsch, bang, top corner again. Ridiculous, but it gets even better than that. As Dallas runs down the wing, whips it in. Phillips is going to play it across there. Klitsch, one touch from miles away, top corner. This guy, incredible. Long shots at 13, that needs to be changed to 20 in the full game. This is outrageous. Anyways, enough about him, and let's talk about us. We're sitting ninth in the Premier League, which does show that we're missing some sort of level of skill here. If we look at our squad depth, you'll see that most of our players are, are quite good, but then when you put them into our positions, there's mainly good slash average across the board, really. Left wing, we're in a very good position. Right wing, very good. Centre half, good to great. Very happy with that. But it's this left back position that we are, well, we're missing a good player. We're also missing a great central midfielder. Obviously, we have two great ones already in Musiala and Danny Alves, but we're not going to play those in those positions. So we need to try and recruit a fantastic centre mid and a fantastic left back. Goalkeeper, we can deal with. We'll try and deal with that in January or next season. But for now, left back and centre mid has to be our key aims. And it is transfer deadline day. So let's see if we can fill those gaps and take part in the brand new deadline day feature. And here we are then. Yellow background, beautiful looking skin. And well, apparently we're interested in Calvert Lewin, Zapata, and the goalkeeper Kakir, who I had in last year's FM. All three of these players are fantastic. Are they the right players that we need to sign right now? Well, probably not, but Calvert Lewin, yeah, it's tempting. Definitely tempting. Fan Paul down here seems to agree with what I said before. 55% says we need to increase, improve and strengthen our defence. I think centre-backs are sorted. Definitely that left-back position that we need. And we have a few players who we might be able to list and get rid of. Almiron worth 50 million apparently. What? Surely not. Who's interested in him? You can have him. 50 million pounds, of course. Alright, let's offer him out. 50 mil, my dears. All right, goodbye, Miguel. We get an offer of 50 mil. That's outrageous. Kieran Clark is going. He already has a bid from Dynamo Moscow, so he'll be on his way out. Ryan Fraser, 20 mil. Yeah, okay, let's send him out again. 20 million. Please bring in some money. Here we go then. 13 hours, and we've been sent some players from some agents. Is there any left backs on the list? There is. This guy here, Alfonso Espino. Who are you? You're dreadful, mate. You are not coming to us. Danny Sabellos, available for 650 grand. Now he would be a world-class midfielder. Much better than what we have at the moment, but 130 grand a week? Actually, who am I kidding? We've just been taken over. Of course we have that money. All right, yeah, let's make an offer. Let's go 650, suggest terms. They want 900 grand and then 32 grand more. It's gonna cost 1.2, fine, whatever. We'll accept that, we've got money, let's go. 10 hours left and Sabios has agreed terms on the contract. He is coming to Newcastle United. Happy days. Theo Hernandez is also available, but valued at 61 to 76 million. He's just too much. We can't afford him right now. Let's see if anyone else pops up in the next 10 hours or so. With six hours left to go, I know I said at the start of the transfer window, I didn't need a striker, but Calvert Lewin just keeps calling my name. He keeps calling me. So, do we put in a cheeky bid and see how much we can get him for? I mean, the left-backs are not jumping off the board, let's be honest. So, if we can improve our squad anyway, let's try and get a few more goals, huh? What does the agent say? We're very keen to have him. What does he want? 45 to 67, okay. Modest wage, okay, good. Big pay rise, okay, wants everything. Wants the whole world. But you know what? 
thank you. I still think we can bring him in. Has a pressing forward, has everything we need, has the height, has the heading, the finishing, the pace. He has everything, and he's English, which helps with our quota. So let's make an offer. Now, obviously, we can't go any more than 20 million. Why can't you click that? You used to be able to click this last year and you used to put in the highest bid possible. Let's go 20 mil and let's say in installments, in installments, three month, well, three yearly installments of let's say, let's go for 45 million. Let's offer 65 million in total. Are they going to accept it? Let's find out. Oh, yes. Okay, right. So it looks like Calvert Loon has come to Newcastle. <laughs> this is impromptu. All right, let, let's uh, let's finalize the offer and work out if we actually need him or not. Now our squad has Callum Wilson, Dwight Gale, and Santiago Munoz up front. I would say Calvert Loon is better than all three of those, so he's definitely an upgrade. Let's get him in. Let's get to the contract. All right, he is more interested in going to Arsenal, City. Fair enough, but I think you only want squad player. I think we can win him over by saying he's going to be a first team player. Get rid of that. Let's say he's an important player. Big pay rise, yeah, okay. Coaching team, yeah, uh, yeah, okay. We're not going to bring in another player for him. We've just strengthened the midfield with Danny Celebo, so we don't need that. Challenge for the title, yeah, we can do that. Suggest, all right, we're done. Okay, let's get into the contract. What do you want? Okay, 120 grand a week. Okay, now that is not what he said at the beginning. Well, let's drop that down to 90. Let's start there. Drop the agent fee down a little bit. Five-year deal. Yeah, okay, let's suggest. All right, still miles away. Let's go for 100 grand on the nose. Drop that down. Come on. Calvert-Lewin, are you joining? Yes. Okay, 100 grand a week. Fantastic. Get, get in there. Calvert-Lewin playing for Newcastle United what a signing that's going to be and there we have it Dominic Calvert-Lewin signed for Newcastle United get in there happy days a fantastic signing and his value has already skyrocketed to over 100 million excellent stuff with two hours left it is only really an option to try and get rid of Almiron now try and get some money in because he's not really going to be getting a game this season let's try and get him out the door nobody wants him for 30 Let's try him down at maybe 22, 23 million. So 22.5, put him in the middle. Off at the clubs, it's our final chance. Let's get rid of him. We'll also offer Fraser at one final time, 10 million pounds. Surely someone is going to pay up front. In fact, let's, let's push the board. Let's go 15 million pounds. Left, we've got two offers. Almiron for 11 and a half million. That's not being accepted. He's worth more than that. We can't sell him now. We'll sell him in January. But Ryan Fraser, 15 mil. Yes, please. See you later. Give me that money. Fraser has left now to Everton. 30 minutes left. No more action. He's going to go down, I'm sure. Let's see what happens at the end of the deadline day. It's passed. And there we have it then. What an eventful day. This new, this new feature within Football Manager makes deadline day so much more immersive you're constantly looking for deals it's really really good selling joel into for two million pounds <laughs> that's great business and here is the roundup we are the biggest spenders no surprise there spending 277 million that's outrageous is it going to make a difference well let's find out we are going to play against norwich now and let's see if calvert lewin can make an immediate impact here we are for the Norwich game and well I have changed the tactic drastically because I didn't actually buy a left back and I spent all my money on Calvert-Lewin we're going to try and make sure he gets the best service possible so we're kind of going 80s Ajax vibe really with a diamond here and then we have five six attacking players rushing forwards we'll see if it works now the analysis suggests it is very strong in the middle but woeful at left back and right back but even when we had left backs and right backs on the pitch they were still red anyways so that shouldn't really make a difference we're going to have Dubravka in goal Michele Garcia and Kunde at the back Hayden playing in that defensive midfielder position the Beos, Ali and Willick in the middle with Musiala and St Max let's swap those over and Calvert-Lewin up front 
It looks exciting. Let's hope we score some goals with it. Let's get into the game. The action gets underway then. Newcastle against Norwich. And we have a first highlight. Early corner. St. Max whips it in. Deli Alley doesn't win the header, but it comes back to Sebeos. Eric Garcia in the box. Ooh, very close. Now with this formation, I genuinely have no idea how this is going to go. I think if Norwich had any sense, they'd attack the wings. But I'm hoping they don't have any sense at all. After seeing them get beat on the day of recording, 7-0 by Chelsea. I can't imagine Norwich are going to be too much of a problem. But this is football manager, not real life, so who knows. We are not really creating much, however. I'm going to shout to the team, I'm going to encourage them. In the hope that we can create something. We have another corner with St. Max. Whips it in. It's headed clear. Pretty much as always on corners. I need to organise a corner tactic. If you have some good information about corners. Please do let me know in the comments. Because I am useless with creating set pieces. St. Max whips it in. This Calvert-Lewin. It's a goal on his debut. Get in. 65 million. Well spent. Happy days. A debut goal. Come on. That goal was actually really well made. With Sabios playing an important role there. St. Max beating his man. Crossing in. Carver Lewin with a great header. Beating three men there to the ball. Get in. 1-0. And with that goal. It looks like we're going to head into half time with the lead. An early highlight in the second half now. With Joe Willock picking it up. The team talk went incredibly well. So hopefully this is a sign of good things to come. If we can build from the back. Look at this. Passing from the boys. Beautiful. Quite a bad ball over the top there, however. But we intercept the long ball with Sabeos. St. Max gets tackled, but he should get the second ball. He does. There's Mukele. Whips it in. There's Calvert-Lewin again. It's 2-0. The wide centre-back, Mukele, with the assist. Great header again from Calvert-Lewin. Great signing so far. Two goals. Come on. We pick up the replay with St. Max getting the ball there. Mukele, first time. Calvert-Lewin beats his man in the air. 2-0. Bish, bash, bosh. Get in. So, so far, so good with this formation. It seems to be working quite well. We'll have to have a look at the data after the match to see if we're actually covering enough ground. But at the moment, 2-0 up. Can't really be complaining. As we are pressing Norwich again with the ball, but Gibson is bringing it out from the back. Ilmore now. Lovely ball over the top to their winger. Rashika. Lovely name to say. He beats our, well, not left back, our centre-half. But we win the header and St. Max heads clear. It looks like Norwich will get the second attempt though. With a, with a fresh phrase of play. Oh, what a strike that is. Rashika. How has he scored from there? <laughs> what a goal that is. Dubravka stood no chance. Williams picked up the clearance. Plays it inside the Gilmore. Turns around. Acres of space. Probably because I'm not playing a left back. And what a finish that is. <laughs> That's 2-1. Oh dear. So St. Maxman saying he's... Had a bit of a knock. He wants to come off. So with it being 70 minutes. We will make a change. After this highlight. Let's hope it goes our way. It's Norwich. are playing out from the back. But we intercept that ball. Lovely. Here's Hayden. Joe Willett pushing forward. Shoots from miles away. What a goal that is. 3-1. Happy days. Come on. 30 yards out. <laughs> what a goal. Let's check out the replay. As Gibson launches the clearance up. Mikhail intercepts. And places it at Hayden. Who's just going to play it forward to Willick. One touch out his feet. Bang. Bottom corner. Unbelievable goal. So let's make that change now. St. Max is going to come off. We're going to put Deli Alley on that left wing. We're going to bring St. Max off. Bring on Sean Longstaff in the middle in that box-to-box -box position. And just keep it ticking over. As Calvert-Lewin has the ball. Nope. That highlight doesn't count. I see that's still an issue. Longstaff with a free kick from miles away. Shoots. Oh, great save by the goalkeeper. Not known for his free kicks as long staff, but that was a good one. Last 10 minutes, we're going to bring off Musiala. He's had a very quiet game. We're going to bring on Jacob Murphy on that wing. As we have another highlight with Michele with the ball. Eric Garcia now. Usually very calm on the ball. Maybe too calm. As Jansen steals it, he's 1-1 one -one with the goalkeeper. What can he do from here? Dubravka stands up tall and saves it. Get in. 89th minute and we have another highlight. It's Joe Willock. Kunde now pushing forward in that wide centre back position. Longstaff with a lovely ball over the top to Deli Ali. Whips in this Calvert Lewin for his hat trick. And it's it's there. He's done it. It's a hat trick on his debut. It's stuff dreams are made of. And Calvert Lewin has done just that. What a finish. It's 4 1. Sean Longstaff here with a beautiful ball over the top for Deli Ali. Controls it really well. Plays a great ball through to Calvert Lewin with a cheeky little dink of a finish over the two defenders and the goalkeeper. 4 1. What a striker this guy is. And that brings us to the end of the game. 
4-1 winners against Norwich. Calvert-Lewin looking particularly beautiful. What a great game that was. And with that win, puts us in the fifth position. Happy days. Fantastic performance that conquered over Calvert-Lewin scoring a hat-trick on his debut. What a guy. What a mighty fine guy. I tell you what, what we'll do is we will come back against his old team in Everton. That will be our next game. We might even do a double header, Everton and Man U. Looking forward to that one. That'll be good. If you have enjoyed the episode, please do drop a like, consider subscribing, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Sixty-five million for Calvert Lewin. Is it a bargain? Well, three goals in one game. I'm saying yes.